Hey guys, welcome to the Gamers Attic Show. I am your host, Player One, the host with the most lives and unlimited continues. And I'm here with none other than Greg Horn. How are you today? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm ecstatic, I'm excited, and I have some questions for you. Okay, let's do it. So, are you ready for Player One's questions? I am. All right, so my first question is, what would you say is your biggest uh, project to date? Um, boy, that's hard to say. I mean, I've done a lot of big projects with Marvel. Uh, probably my biggest project that I've ever worked on was uh, Olympic basketball poster in 2004. That involved drawing all 12 players with the Parthenon as the backdrop. Wow. And how long did that project take? It took me a good, uh, it took me a good 10 days to finish the first one. And then um, it got rejected. They wanted a different design, and then I spent another ten days on the second one. Oh wow, cool! So here's another question I have, and I'm very, very curious about this one. If you were a superhero or villain, what would be your superpower, and why? Well, I think my superpower would be to stop time. Stop time. That way, I could hit all my dead ends, and I could get all my sketches done. And what would seem that one day, even though it really took me six months. see, <laughs> trolling. Now you see. That's that's crazy. You know, that, that, I think that would be my power too, because I have so many deadlines going on with like various projects that I do, and it's just like I never have time. Right. Yeah. I mean, it seems kind of lame, but it's good. yeah. Hmm. And what would be your name if you were a superhero or villain? The gregarious one. No, the not the gregarious one. Sounds very villainous. Yeah. Well, you can do a lot of bad villainous things when you stop time. You can go out on the street, pull everybody's pants down. <laughs> when time starts, <laughs> it's going to be chaos. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> so, a few months ago, unfortunately, we had the passing of Stan Lee. Yes. What would you say was... What legacy did Stan Lee have in your life? Well, I have a, uh, I have a somewhat of a personal connection with Stan because uh, later in his life, we, uh, we were able to collaborate on a few projects. Um, one of them was uh, some Remark comic books I had done for Amazing Spider-Man. And uh, his agent saw him and asked me if I wanted to do a promotion for Stan, so I agreed to it. And then when I got the books back, they all had uh, little head sketches on the stand. Okay. And I just thought that was, uh, I wasn't expecting that at all. So. Amazing. 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 If it wasn't for Stan Lee, who knows? You know, like all this. Great, you know, stories of superheroes and villains that oh, yeah, be here. You know, his, his legacy is incredible. All these, all these characters he created, and all the people he made happy. Yeah, he's a great man. So you heard it here. So, where can we find you on on social media? Yeah. Well, uh, I have a page on Facebook and Instagram, and um, we started a. A forum online. The, uh, the main, the main forum has a group at Facebook. It's called the Greg Horn Comic Collecting Forum. And I also have a new online store at GregHornArt.com. Awesome, cool. Yeah. So thank you so much, Greg, for giving us this uh, time to remember get to meet you a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So you heard it here first. I am Player One, and I'm here with. Greg Horn. And I'm going to be saying enough said. Game over. Game over. Game over.